हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन होपिंग यू ऑल आर फाइन हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे वी विल कंटिन्यू और रादर कंप्लीट दिस मोशन टॉपिक इन टर्म्स ऑफ इट्स न्यूमरिकल्स एंड एवरीथिंग सो ऑलमोस्ट नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ द टॉपिक दैट इज मोशन वी विल फिनिश टूडे yesterday we completed the derivations using graph and uh, you all could do that i am very happy for it today that is now we will be working on numericals basically this topic is completely based on numerical type examples where uh, you have to find some value few values are given all that how to do everything we will understand in this particular session if not in this session then we might uh, do that in the next session that means we will complete it in the next session okay so let's get started first of all let us take a look at all the formulae that what you are going to use in the coming session so that is speed is equal to distance upon time uh, it might be considered for velocity see the distance and displacement will be same in case if it is in a straight line so in the practical examples speed or velocity both we consider in the similar manner average speed the total distance covered upon total time taken then we have to convert the units like meter per second to uh, kilometer per hour or kilometer per hour to meter per seconds and that can be easily done by multiplying by 5 by 18 and multiply by 18 by 5 so you can mention that in your notebook and three equations of motion now how to understand these three equations of motion try to know this it's very clear v is nothing but a final velocity u is nothing but initial velocity a is acceleration t is time and s is distance or displacement right so these are the few values or few notation you must know before we start the question clear uh, v is final velocity u is initial velocity a is acceleration t is time and s is distance covered okay so when we look at the question whatever the values are given out of these one i have to first of all collect and accordingly choose the exact required formula okay so what you can do is you can right now pause the video keep this all formula written in your notebook and whenever you want you can utilize from there okay and as and when you utilize it you will see that okay you will remember it as well isn't it you are remembering those formula as well so let's start understanding how to solve the equations so here is the first one a scooter requires velocity 36 km per hour in 10 seconds just after the start find the acceleration just after the start that means the scooter uh jo tha i don't know how to draw the scooter okay this is maybe something like a scooter okay so the scooter what it was it was at the initial position at rest okay after it the start that means the initial position the scooter was at rest and then it achieves the speed of 36 km per hour in 10 seconds the time is given 10 seconds so whenever we get this data i will collect the data in terms of the notations like uh, initial velocity u is equals to 0 km per hr final velocity v is equals to 36 km per hr right and time is given which is 10 seconds so this is the way how i'll collect the information okay once you understand when the object is at rest its velocity is zero the initial velocity i have to consider as a zero which is extremely important remember that so i'll continue solving the question now okay let's start understanding it before we start the question let me just clear you that the speed needed to be converted into meter per second that is si unit in si unit you have to convert the speed because the time is given in seconds and when you want to convert uh, something 
as into the acceleration you have to find the acceleration the acceleration unit is meter per second square not kilometer per something like that so you must know this concept very clearly okay so let us see how can i do that how can i do this so convert kilometer per hour into meter per second what is the way it is multiplying by 36 into 5 by 18 okay remember the concept remember the fraction i can multiply by 5 by 18 18 ones are 18 threes are Oh, yeah, sorry 18 twos are 2 fives are 10 so it is 10 meter per second here itself in the information itself we will be converting it and now i will use the uh, equation now remember one thing that it is better to use i know equations of motion okay so out of the three equations of motion which one do you think we can use okay the first one if i use which is v is equals to u plus 80 v is equals to u plus 80 if i use let us see v is nothing but final velocity which is 10 u is 0 a i need to find out and acceleration uh, and time is equals to 10 so this is the way how i can substitute the value and i can get easily a so how can i get that uh, shifting 0 to gaya so 10 is equals to 10 a a either shift okay so 1 is equals to a so what do i get it was a very simple basic and uh, question so a is equals to 1 but if i write a is equals to 1 like a mathematics it is not going to give us the score so what is i have to write a is equals to 1 meter per second square that is the unit of acceleration and that's it this is my answer is okay okay so in a similar way we will will be completing our other question for the questions so i have to just basically understand which uh, equation will be helpful here to solve this question so i'll continue with the next one a moving train brought to a rest Deklo. there is a train which was moving moving in sense it has got some velocity v brought to a rest that means the speed later speed is will be uh, that will be equal to uh, zero uh, rest that means it is its speed is zero so what i understand the beginning velocity is v uh, sorry the initial velocity was something as u and the it brought to a rest that means it is a final velocity which is equals to zero understand it okay the final velocity is nothing but zero within 10 seconds oh sorry within 20 seconds so this is time time is equal to 20 seconds by applying some break okay apply here find the initial velocity if the retardation retardation matlab acceleration okay but the acceleration in a negative sign is called as a retardation or deceleration so whenever the speed is reducing your a is negative a matlab kya hota hai? acceleration that means retardation is negative so let us understand this now Chalo, work karte so sabse pehle information collect karte we have u that is initial velocity which is asked to find out so i am not given that right v is given because it is brought to a rest after some time so it is brought to the rest after some time. So we have we have v is equals to zero. Next one, uh, we need to find out uh, u. So I'm given time t is equal to twenty seconds, and of course a is equals to two meter per second square. Now you will ask me how it can be two meter per second square because it is a retardation. So let us take it as negative. So when we take acceleration, try to understand when we take acceleration, it is positive and when we take deceleration, it is negative. So always remember this. Okay, let's continue. So we continue karte, uh, which equation I am supposed to use. So of course, the first equation of the motion I have to use that is V is equals to U plus AT. Now, how do I have to understand that how, which equation it is here? So, this components which are given to me, this will help me to find out the equation. Okay. So, V is equals to 0. U I have to find out. A is minus 2. And T is 20. Right. Time. So, I have 0 is equals to U minus 40. 40 if I shift the other side, I get U is equals to positive 40. That's it. So if I have u is equals to 40, but it is not mathematics, you know that. I have to write it in the unit. It is a velocity, so it is 40 meter per second. This is the velocity. That's it. 
Isn't it a very simple way? Correct? Let's continue the next one. I am purposely solving it so that you all will understand it properly one by one. Okay? So what you can do is you can uh, solve these questions later on together. Do not solve one by one as I am solving. You can uh, keep it in mind and then solve it together. Let's go for the next one. So I will collect the information. A body start to slide over a horizontal surface with an initial velocity of 0.5 meter per second. So initial velocity is very clear. U is equals to 0.5 meter per second. Due to friction, of course, when something is sliding on a plane surface, isn't it? The friction is applied. Due to the friction, what will happen? The velocity decreases. Okay, at the rate of 0.05 meter per second square. So it's very clear that it is an acceleration. Uh, but it is decreasing. When the velocity is decreasing, it is not acceleration. What is it? Deceleration. So I have A is equals to minus 0.05 meter per second square. So one thing you need to always remember. Whenever there is acceleration, please make sure that whether it is positive or negative, that you understand and then use it. How much time it will take? It uh, will take the body to stop. How much time it will take? That means I have to find time to stop. That means the V is supposed to be 0 meter per second. The final velocity is supposed to be 0, per sec 0 meter per second. I think we can easily solve this. Maybe these decimals might trouble you. So I will help you in this particular question how to solve it again. So V is equals to U plus AT. V is 0. U uh, is 0 0.5 plus A is minus of 0 0.05 and into time t that I have to find out. So I can shift uh, this 0 0.5 this side I get minus 0 0.5 is equals to minus 0 0.05 t right. Uh, this uh, negative and negative get cancelled I get 0 0.5 upon 0 0.05 is equals to time t. Now the question is how to solve such questions. ये जो दिख रहा है ये कैसे solve करते हैं? ये एक मैं simple सा idea मैं आपको देता हूँ in solving decimal वाले questions के लिए. Okay? करना क्या है? Denominator को बस देखना है, numerator को देखने कोई जरूरत नहीं है. Numerator decimal में है, fraction में है. Numerator not a problem at all. देखना बस denominator को है. Denominator के point को हटा दो. Denominator में कितने digit के बाद point है? तो two digit के बाद point है. तो I have to multiply by hundred. 2 digit मतलब 10 to the power 2 से multiply करना है, okay? Remember that, so that this decimal shift to here, okay? If you multiply, you get answer as 5. Check कर लो, देख लो 0.05 into 100, the answer is 500, right? And two decimal के बाद point देना तो यहाँ पे point आ जाएगा, तो it is 5. तो make sure that you understand this concept that what I have to multiply by, I have to multiply by 100. So if I multiply by 100 to the denominator, same I have to multiply to the numerator. Though don't look at the numerator, let it come however, whatever. So multiply 0 0.5 into 100, what do I get? Of course 500 and after one decimal, so that is 50. So I have 50 here and down of course 5 is equals to t. So this is uh, <coughs> this is how I got this uh, division as. So 5 ones are 5 tens, so 10 is nothing but t. And 10 kya hai? Second. Time is in second. Clear? So this is how. I can easily solve the sum. So still till this time we are solving using only first equation. Maybe in the next one I might use some else. Uh, yes, again the same one. No distance I have to find out. Chalo, dekhte kya karna hai pe. A car has a uniform acceleration. So I am given A is equals to 4 meter per second square. And of course it is said acceleration so it is going to be positive. What distance it will cover? Distance matlab S mujhe find karna hai in 10 seconds after it start oh so i have to find out uh, distance time is given that is 10 second after it start after it start matlab ye pehle start nahi hua hai to beginning mein uska jo velocity hai u is always zero okay zero of course if it is zero i can write anything as meter per second or kilometer per hour so i am writing meter per second so this is the information given to me. Now which equation can be useful here? So chalo dekhte konsa equation useful hai. Distance find karna hai matlab do equation mere paas hai. S is equals to ut plus half at square and 2as is equals to v square minus u square to find s. So ye do equation se is very clear. This I cannot use because final velocity is not given. So ye yahi use karna hai the first wala. Chalo use karo. S is equals to ut 
प्लस हाफ ए टी स्क्वायर तो यू टी यू मतलब जीरो है तो ये टर्म तो जीरो हो जाएगा जीरो मतलब जीरो इंटू एनी थिंग इज जीरो तो जीरो हो जाएगा प्लस हाफ इंटू ए इज फोर इंटू टी स्क्वायर इज हंड्रेड सॉरी टेन स्क्वायर विच इज हंड्रेड तो ये हो जाएगा टू वन जा टू टू जा फोर एंड हंड्रेड टू जा टू हंड्रेड तो एस विल बी इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड मीटर दैट्स इट सो सिंपल होप यू अंडरस्टैंड होप यू गेटिंग इट चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं वेरी वेरी सिंपल ऑल द क्वेश्चन आर वेरी वेरी सिंपल बस कौन सा ही तो एक इक्वेशन यूज करना है लुकिंग एट द इन्फॉर्मेशन गिवन टू अस ओके टिल टिल नाउ वी हैवन येट गॉट सम कन्वर्जन और सम टिपिकल कन्वर्जन तो कन्वर्जन के बारे में भी हम लोग देखने वाले चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं स्कूटर इज मूविंग विद द स्पीड मतलब ये इनिशियल विलासिटी होगी मूविंग विद द स्पीड तो इनिशियल विलासिटी इज टेन मीटर पर सेकेंड स्टॉप स्टॉप मतलब वी इज इक्व टू जीरो मीटर पर सेकेंड ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है रेस्ट के बारे में आप लोग सोचो ऑलवेज जीरो है तो होता है अप्लाइज ब्रेक ब्रेक अप्लाई किया मतलब जो भी एक्सेलेशन होगा वो क्या होगा डिसलरेशन होगा तो योर एक्सेलेशन ए इज इक्व टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट चीज हो जाती है हाउ मच डिस्टेंस विल इट कवर बाय द स्कूटर बिफोर इट स्टॉप मतलब कितना डिस्टेंस कवर करेगा डिस्टेंस फाइन करना है तो एस इज इक्व टू एस के बारे में मेरे पास दो फॉर्मूले यू टी प्लस हाफ ए टी स्क्वायर एंड दूसरा वाला क्या है टू ए एस इज इक्वल टू वी स्क्वायर माइनस यू स्क्वायर तो टाइम तो यहाँ पे दिया नहीं है मतलब यही फॉर्मूला हमें अप्लाई करना पड़ेगा ये फॉर्मूला हम लोग इरेज कर देते हैं ओके लेट इस स्टार्ट पुटिंग द वैल्यू टू ए ए क्या है माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एस क्या है एस तो मुझे फाइन करना है दैट्स इट वी स्क्वायर वी स्क्वायर कहाँ गया जीरो माइनस ऑफ यू स्क्वायर मतलब टेन स्क्वायर सो वी हैव योर माइनस अभी वन इन टू एस अभी ये माइनस वन कैसे आ गया जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टू कितना आता है वन आता है ओके सर फाइव इंटू टू टेन एंड पॉइंट दिया वन आता है माइनस वन इंटू एस इज इक्वल टू माइनस हंड्रेड तो एस विल बी इक्वल टू हंड्रेड दैट्स इट हंड्रेड क्या मीटर तो कितना डिस्टेंस इट इट इज गोइंग टू कवर हंड्रेड क्लियर आई जस्ट होप यूर अंडरस्टैंडिंग आई होप यू गेटिंग इट तो ये ये है सारे इज इजी क्वेश्चन इज एन इट और कार इज ट्रेवलिंग एट अ स्पीड दिस वन स्पीड्स अप टू दिस वन इन सिक्स सेकेंड वॉट इज इट एक्सलेशन तो ये क्लियर है इसको कन्वर्ट करो मीटर पर सेकेंड में फर्स्ट इक्वेशन यूज करो न्यू गेट यू आंसर ओके यू माइट फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज दीज आर नॉट अ मल्टीपल ऑफ यू नो एटीन तो लेट इज सी हाउ कैन आई डू दैट ईजी है ज़्यादा कुछ डिफिकल्ट नहीं है तो आई हैव यू विच इज़ ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर पर आर तो हाउ टू कन्वर्ट ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर पर आर इन टू मीटर पर सेकेंड तो इन टू फाइव बाई एटीन so it is going to be equal to because it is not divisible i will just multiply divide by 10 a bit divide by 2 to 9s are 18 right so it is 50 by 9 meter per second i am not going to convert or write decimal here okay so remember that v is equals to 60 km per hr so i am going to use this as 60 into 5 by 18 i can easily convert this into again uh, to सिक्स से भी डिवाइड कर सकता हूँ सिक्स टेन जा एंड सिक्स थ्री जा एटी सो फिफ्टी बाई थ्री मीटर पर सेकेंड सो नाउ आई नीड टाइम टाइम इज गिवन विच इज सिक्स सेकेंड सो आई कैन यूज फर्स्ट इक्वेशन दैट इज वी इज इक्व टू यू प्लस एटी वी इज गिवन कितना दिया वी फिफ्टी राइट बाई थ्री इज इक्व टू यू कितना दिया फिफ्टी बाई नाइन प्लस ए इन टू सिक्स क्लियर तो शिफ्टिंग दिस फिफ्टी बाई नाइन दैट साइड सो वॉट डू आई गेट लेट सी ये बीच बीच में आ रहा है तो यहाँ पे मैं सॉल्व कर रहा हूँ तो फिफ्टी बाई थ्री माइनस फिफ्टी बाई नाइन इज इक्व टू सिक्स ए राइट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इसको मैं डिवाइड करता हूँ सब्ट्रैक्ट करता हूँ थ्री थ्री जो नाइन थ्री जो तो वन फिफ्टी माइनस फिफ्टी इज हंड्रेड अपॉन नाइन इज इक्व टू सिक्स ए सिक्स नीचे आ गया हंड्रेड अपॉन नाइन इंटू सिक्स इज इक्व टू ए तो थ्री टू जा राइट थ्री टू जा टू थ्री जा सिक्स एंड टू फिफ्टी जा तो फिफ्टी अपॉन ट्वेंटी सेवन मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर इज माई एक्सलेशन यू मे फाइंड इट इज वेरी वियर्ड ऐसे कैसे आंसर आ गया बट दैट्स द रीजन आई आई गेव दिस क्वेश्चन एज आई कैप दिस क्वेश्चन बिकॉज यू मे गेट आंसर इन फ्रैक्शन लाइक दिस देर इज नो इशू ओके चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं तो दिस इज द वे हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन ओके दिस इज द नेक्स्ट वन सेम वे आई हैव टू फाइंड द एक्सलेशन दिस इज एट्थ क्वेश्चन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग इट लेटर ऑन ये जो दिख रहा है ये एट्थ क्वेश्चन ये ग्राफिकल बेस है वी हैव डिस्कस दिस 
इन रेगुलर टीचिंग टाइम बट स्टिल हम लोग एक टिपिकली इसको सॉल्व करने की कोशिश करेंगे बट लेटर ऑन नॉट नाउ ठीक है आगे बढ़ते हैं वी कैन कंटिन्यू सॉल्विंग दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ दिस आर द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द टेक्सट बुक इट सेल्फ ट्राई वर्किंग ऑन इट टुमारो आई एल बी यू नो टेकिंग दिस क्वेश्चन अगेन बट बिफोर दैट आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग यू टू कम्प्लीट दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द टेक्सट बुक ओके यहाँ से यहाँ तक ये यहाँ तक कम्प्लीट करना है आपको क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव तक फाइन ट्राई वर्किंग ऑल द क्वेश्चन एक्सेप्ट एट्थ वन जो एट्थ है दिस वन आई एल बी टेकिंग टुमारो एंड ऑफकोर्स ये आगे के भी क्वेश्चन में हिंट दूंगा कल देखते हैं ठीक है टिल देन बाय बाय सी यू टुमारो